Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Dr. Gabriel Siquier. For me, it's a pleasure to be tonight here with you. And uh, I'm going to talk about uh, Cell Booster, and uh, we're going to present Swiss Cell. And we're also going to see how to combine effectively all, uh, all the treatments, all the range that we have uh, with Cell Booster. I'm the founder and medical director of the Amato Clinics International. We have clinics in the Netherlands and in Spain. And uh, I'm part of the research group the NEOMA at the University of Girona. And I'm also KOL of Swiss Health. That's why today we are giving, uh, together with SPEGA Medical, uh, this webinar. So uh, I'm going to start sharing my screen. One second. This uh, direct fault. There we go. Okay, so let's gonna start with um, the training, with the webinar. If you have questions or uh, answers, please answer on the question and answer area. So we're gonna go answering during uh, the presentation. And then later I will answer uh, live all the ones that they cannot uh, be answered before. Okay, so we have a new line that is uh, Cell Booster and is made with the patented CHAC technology. So it's a new era in injectable boosters because we're going to have effective delivery and long lasting results. So let's go and see a little bit about uh, Swiss Cell, so the pharmaceutical company who's producing Cell Booster and the patented Czech technology. Swiss Cell is a science-driven Swiss company. It's a pharmaceutical located in yverdon les bains uh, It's close to Lausanne in Switzerland and was founded in 2010. Uh, they have an in-house production with two clean rooms, so that means that the products, they are produced uh, in Switzerland, and they have a C-mark portfolio of thermal fillers and injectable boosters. The uniqueness of Swiss Cell is the patented CHAC technology, is the one uh, they use to produce cell booster. The values of the company, they are innovation, excellence, and customer focus. Most of the products uh, they created with the Cell Booster line, they are to answer some specific needs from uh, the practitioners, but also a high demand from the patients. We can see that the main component of uh, Cell Booster is hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid has a high water retention ability and it's gonna control two things. It's gonna uh, regulate the hydration of the tissue, but also it's gonna, uh, it's the main component of the extracellular matrix. So will also will help uh, regulating a little bit uh, the production of uh, collagen to achieve a better skin uh, firmness and a better skin bio-restructuration. As we are aging, we reduce the hyaluronic acid uh, production. And we can see that hyaluronic acid, when it's native, has a very short life, three to five minutes in blood, around 24 hours into the skin. It's very sensitive to free radicals and is easily degraded by the hyaluronic days that we have in our own body. We can see that we have a turnover in our skin, so we have in our body because it's present everywhere. So we are producing and degraded the hyaluronic acid daily. Problem is when we are aging, the degradation rate is a little bit higher. So we can still uh, start to have uh, a skin sagging and also other affections that can be uh, related to hyaluronic acid deflection, like for example, the arthritis. The oxidative stress, like free radicals, UV rays, pollutants, chemicals, will also increase this degradation of hyaluronic acid. So we're gonna uh, um, induce a process of premature aging. Uh, physical cross-linking, through the different molecules of hyaluronic acid can increase the lasting into the tissue. And that is the base of the CHAC technology. We can see that hyaluronic acid 
gets easily degraded uh, by all these processes and um, how uh, shorter is the chain faster is going to be degraded so the idea is to create a bigger molecule so the yellow days will take longer time to degradate it but without adding any cross-linking or stabilization agent the patented CHAC technology is a unique stabilization method without the use of any chemical binding agents. We uh, can say that Swiss Cell developed the first stabilized complex booster. So they are integrated into the hyaluronic acid matrix, uh, vitamins, amino acids, and some specific uh, minerals. We have three steps to create uh, this hyaluronic acid. The first one is going to be the forming of, of the matrix. This is going to be done with high pressure and share the formation. So they will ensure the unfolding of the molecules of hyaluronic acid. The second step, they will be integrated the active components of the formulation that we're going to have on every cell booster line. The step number three will be the formation of these three D stabilized complex. So we have three steps to create this entity, this hyaluronic acid uh, stabilized complex to, with vitamins, amino acids, and minerals that they're going to have a specific uh, complementing activity in the uh, cellular uh, path. So uh, let's go and see a little video that can explain visually a little bit better these three steps. Sometimes visually we can see more clear, we can finish uh, to understand the ideas. So the three main advantages are no chemical binding agents. We're going to have a slow release of the active ingredients of the different molecules that we put into the formulation. And uh, we have uh, a unique uh, components of ingredients and that will make a treatment combination very good for, um, for the indications that we propose with this uh, booster line. Yaluronic acid stabilized by the CHAC technology enhance and exploits the natural yaluronic acid properties and makes this yaluronic acid a unique uh, transporting vehicle with the essential nutrients that is also going to protect from, from this uh, oxidative stress. And we are going to have an effective, more uh, effective delivery. Why? Because we're going to have a progressive release of the active ingredients that they are into the formulation. So that will um, not allow uh, the components to compete for the same receptor. So we can put different uh, products that in another formulation will not work properly because they will compete for the same receptor. It's like daily, these components they are going to be liberated. So we are going to have an answered and long lasting results. Which ones are the benefits then? So we are going to protect the ingredients from the yaluronic days and from the, the degradation. So we're going to have a, a, a longer uh, half uh, 
uh, life into the tissue. So we are going to say that we're going to stay there for two, three weeks. We're going to increase the active ingredients bioavailability thanks to this progressive uh, liberation into the tissue. We are going to have a better distribution. So we are going to increase efficacy. And we can say that is a unique hyaluronic acid a stabilization method by mechanical action. Chuck technology is based on shear deformation and simultaneous pressure. And thanks to that, we can create this specific complex. We can see in the in in the market that we have other competitors that they are can be stabilized in a different way or they can be native or with a stabilization agent like for example glycerol can be also slightly cross-linked with BDD or we can have native HA, the classic mesotherapy products uh, with active ingredients cocktails. The problem of these cocktails is that they don't last uh, enough time into the tissue because the native HA is easily degraded by the hyaluronidase and the reactive oxygen species. So we can uh, say that this product uh, became like unique. It's absolutely not a filler. The fillers that we have at the market, they are cross linked products when we are talking about hyaluronic acid and uh, uh, generally with BDD and they have more mechanical activity. Uh, cell booster, even though it's a stabilized product, uh, doesn't have the capacity of filling the tissue. It's only have the capacity of regeneration uh, or activation of uh, different pathways uh, into the cellular way to have a specific uh, indication and action. So we can have in the market some products that to improve skin quality, and other ones that they are uh, acting as a fillers, but we have a cell booster. That is something that is completely different. It's an injectable stabilized booster with any chemical binding agents and with some active ingredients into the formulation. It's a medical device class three, C marked. So that means that is safe, is effective, and can, has the license to be injected, is Swiss made and uh, is patented. So you cannot find any other product uh, like with these characteristics in the market at the moment. Let's go and see a small video to clarify all these concepts. Here we go. <laughs> We have product, four products in the range. We have Cell Booster Lift that is aimed for hydration, skin redensification, and uh, uh, improved skin tone and microcirculation. Cell Booster Glow, that is, we consider that is for younger demographic, is going to reduce hyperpigmentation, will improve the skin tone, also uh, is going to give hydration and uh, it's going to protect the skin against environment aggressions like can be the solar damage. Hair, cell booster hair is going to uh, accelerate uh, the hair growth and uh, will fight against hair loss and uh, graying, but also against seborrheic dermatitis. And cell booster shape is, uh, let's go say, is the most uh, newest in the line. 
and uh, is for localized uh, uh, fat, double chin, for example, liquid retention like malaredema or lymphatic, lymphatic drainage like in cellulitis. The ways to inject cell booster can be through a needle or through a cannula, but it's interesting to understand the indication to know which technique uh, can be the best uh, with every product. Cell booster glow is presented in a box with six vials, three milliliter in every vial, and uh, the indications is for younger demographic, let's go say plus uh, minus 35, and this for deep hydration will reduce hyperpigmentation and will also fight against uh, oxidative stress. The indications they are then hyperpigmentation, incipient aging like fine lines and wrinkles, dry skin, and then sun damage and environmentally compromised skin also is going to help to equalize the skin tone. So it can be used, for example, in melasma. The components, they are hyaluronic acid, we have 18 uh, milligrams, we have vitamin C and biotin, and then as amino acids, we have cysteine, glutathione, glycine, lysine, proline, and valine. The key active ingredients on the cell booster glow, they are going to be the glutathione and the vitamin C. Both of them, they are uh, inhibitors of the tyrosinase, so we are going to reduce uh, the melanin synthesis, and both of this, them, they are also antioxidants. We know that to uh, transform tyrosine into melanin, we need to use uh, the tyrosinase, but we also need the process of oxidation. So if we can do an inhibition of both of them, we can reduce the final quantity of melanin into the tissue. Vitamin C also will improve the vascular integrity and is a collagen stimulator. On the other side, we have the amino acids blend. They will supply the building blocks for collagen repair and is essential for a, a healthy and uh, beautiful skin. So we're going to give the ingredients for uh, the cells to build uh, proper collagen. The technique I will recommend uh, will be papula always uh, injection angle around 30 degrees with the bevel of the needle up if we are using a classical 30 or 32 G needle. Nowadays we have thinner needles. So you almost not, not, you are not able to see the bevel, but what is important is the plane of injection because we want to target the dermis and we want to target the, melan the, the melanocytes. The needle type 30, 32 or smaller recommended with four uh, millimeters and every half centimeter let's going to say we're going to make a papula then the skin has to turn white remember that this product is a stabilized but is not cross-linked so we can definitely inject it dermally without any risk of capsulation and then we are going to repeat uh, bi-weekly three sessions till we complete the full protocol here we can see how uh after completed the protocol, two weeks after, we have improved uh, and base control on the hemoglobin. So we have less redness also into the skin. Now, I think thanks to the um, better structure, thanks to the pyrostructuration of all these uh, active ingredients and the ironic acid as well, we are going to see a diminution uh, of the pores. So we're going to have a better structure that has been demonstrated by the rhabdoscopy. And we also can see uh, a better skin micro relief. Uh, so the whole texture of the skin will improve. We're going to have this reduction of pores. We're going to have this reduction uh, on pigment. So we're going to have very nice quality of the skin if and improvement of these specific uh, indications, pathologies like dryness or hyperpigmentation. Here we can see one result. This is after completed three sessions. And the last picture is two weeks after completed the last uh, session. Sometimes people ask me, well, how long uh, the results is going to last? Well, depend a little bit on our patient. So if they're using some protection, if they're having a healthy lifestyle, will uh, last longer. Otherwise, will last a little bit less. So we always need to adapt the protocol to the individual.
here another case from Dr. Uh, Hassam from Zurich. Uh, and we can also see that after three treatments, even though we still have some spots that probably we can treat it with a uh, combination with a laser or a peeling uh, to try to remove this, this uh, excess of pigment, we can see a total improvement, not only on the pigmentation, but also on the skin quality. In that case, another patient from Turkey, we can see progressively how the pigment is getting reduced, the tone is better, the redness is also getting reduced. So we have a very um, progressive and uh, beneficial effect on the skin. Which one is going to be the course? So we are going to have three treatments with two, three months, uh, two, three weeks interval, and then one follow up once a month or once every two months, depending on the needs of the patients. The indications they are face, neck, the quality area, but also we can use it on the back of the hands or uh, on the body. Remember the indications for cell group booster glow. They are hyperpigmentation, dry skin, and uh, skin affected uh, by sun damage. Let's gonna go now to the other one that is cell booster lift. Cell booster lift will also be presented in a, a package with six vials three milliliters in every vial. And we are trying, is intended for a little bit older demographic, plus 35, plus 45. We're gonna do a skin rodensification, but we also want to improve the skin tone and the microcirculation. The indications, they're gonna be the loss of firmness, dehydrated skin, superficial wrinkles, laxity, but also we're gonna have the indication of cuprosis we're going to have very nice results in uh, patients with this uh, pathology of the skin. The ingredients, they are going to be a little bit different. So as, as we are aging, the skin is going to have different needs. So we're going to have riboflavin, it's vitamin B2, vitamin C, also tocopherol is the vitamin E, biotin, and uh, complementing amino acids that is going to be arginine, glycine, lysine, proline, and valine. The key active ingredients, they are gonna be the amino acids uh, blend and the hyaluronic acid. With these ones, we are gonna have a skin rosensification, microcirculations and um, uh, wrinkle feeling improvement, deep hydration, so we can see that uh, the same we got uh, with GLOW, we're going to have it here uh, with LIFT because these uh, benefit, benefits can overlap. But this product is intended for an older skin, a skin uh, with an air empty dermis that we need to restructurate a little bit, that we need to redensificate, and uh, we also going to have this active uh, indication that is the coprosis. The vitamins, they will protect the cells from the free radicals and the oxidative stress, preventing lines and wrinkles. The technique I recommend in that case will also be the papula technique, but if we are working superficial with the cannula, is also um, a possibility to improve the skin quality. The volume injected will be three milliliters for the full face, so one and a half milliliter per emi phase. I recommend to use a 25G cannula or smaller, but the trick is to place it superficially. Here we can see a reduction of the wrinkles by 25%. This we are talking about periocular uh, wrinkles, also reduction um, in other areas. We can see a little bit of reduction on the nasolabial folds. We are not feeling this area, but we are improving a little bit the tone. Also reduction uh, on melanin uh, production because we are going to have a better quality of the skin. So that will also improve uh, all the pathologies like can be redness, uh, pigmentation, uh, laxity of the skin. All of that will get improved progressively. 
Here we can see a very nice result uh, of face and neck uh, from Dr. Mesut from Turkey. He used a total of four vials in five sessions because he was treating face and neck on this um, on this specific patient. Another result after four procedures, in that case, Dr. Natalia Mikhailova. So we can see also that has been respected in the protocol every two, three weeks. Remember that is stabilized. So that gives you a little bit of um, chance to adapt uh, slightly the protocol every two weeks, every three weeks, more or less, because the product will maintain into the tissue. The indications, loss of firmness, dehydrated skin, wrinkles, skin laxity, loss of skin tone and elasticity, and cuprosis. The treatment area is going to be the same, face, neck, and decollete. And the program is going to be also three treatments biweekly with one treatment maintenance, depending on the needs um, of the patient. Why we make this protocol of three sessions is because the skin takes eight weeks to rejuvenate completely. Mm? And we know that the product will be there for around two to three weeks. So we know that during these eight weeks, we are going to have the activity of the cell booster in our skin. Let's go now to cell booster shape. Cell booster shape is indicated for fat reduction and lymphatic drainage. It's not a pro product to treat obesity. We'll come in the same package, six vials with three milliliter each, and we can use it for local fat accumulation, sagging skin, double chin, uh, fat cheeks, cellulitis, that's a chronic uh, edema, water retention, puffiness, periocular edema, we can use with all of these indications. The components are hyaluronic acid, as in all the formula, and in that case, vitamin C and L-carnitine. The L-carnitine will reduce the local fat accumulation, the water retention, and the puffiness. So we are, what it's going to do is a decomposition of the long chain of the fatty acids with acetyl-CoA release. So that will happen into the mitochondria. So it's going to transform this... Uh, um, uh, long chains into energy. Huh? That's the way that it works. So we're not going to have a degradation of the membrane of the cell. So we don't have to worry for this uh, high risk of inflammation that we have with other lipolytics, like for example, the oxycolate. We'll also uh, stimulate um, um, reparative uh, processes and has a drain effect, so will reduce the liquid congestion. So in patients that we have edema and localized fat, we will see faster the results because once the edema is gone, the result appears uh, much faster. The vitamin C is going to be complementing the activity. And we know that vitamin C, uh, if it's uh, with adequate concentration, can uh, oxidize 30% more fat uh, during moderate exercise. So if we have these specific patients that they are trainer, they have localized fat that is not going away, we can inject their uh, cell booster shape with L-carnitine and vitamin C, and we're going to reduce really fast uh, this uh, fat accumulation. Remember that it's not a treatment for obesity, huh? because sometimes... I get uh, some demands from the patients or demands of other colleagues that they inject a lot this product. But if the patient is overweight, has to treat the overweight first. Huh? This is only for localized fat and for edema. Huh? The way to inject, generally you're going to pinch the, the skin and you need to have around one square centimeter of tissue. And there you are going to, you are going to inject in the subcutaneous fat. So it's uh, very easy. Uh, so always try to find the areas that you have a little bit of excess uh, of fat. If you only have a skin, this will not be the indication. Sometimes we pretend to reshape 
uh, the show line reducing uh, fat on that area, but if uh, we only have a skin, it will not work. Hmm? When we are treating localized fat, we need to inject intrafat. When we are treating edema, so for example, periocular edema, we can also inject intradermally. Uh, we don't have uh, any risk, and that will help also with the drainage. We can also see that uh, cell booster shape is uh, improving the micro relief in the periorbital area. We'll also reduce the, the depth of the poria in 22%. Uh, so we can see that thanks to the hyaluronic acid into the formulation and the other vitamins, we have overlapped uh, uh, benefits of this test results. Another picture, in that case with a complete protocol from the, uh, Dr. Oslem uh, Turker from uh, Turkey, and here we can see the before and after. This is one case of Dr. Sebastian uh, Torres from Chile, so we can see that internationally this product has been used with very uh, nice and uh, interesting results. Another case from Dr. Mikhailova, you can see also, in, even though the nasal labial fall depth, sometimes when we have an excess of fat uh, on this area we, or uh, excess of edema, we can also help uh, to reduce. Thanks to the hyaluronic acid, we will have also hydrated and glowing skin. This is the other emi face. And the indications, again, localized fat, double chin, uh, cellulite, and edema. Mm -hmm. We can treat the face, the neck, the decollete, and the body as well. And we have this program. When we are treating the body, if we need to treat a big area, of course, we will need to use more quantity of product. I normally use my close hand as a measurement in the body to put in the three milliliter area. This, the program is three sessions, and then we can do once a month, one session for maintenance. So I'll talk about the last one, that is cell booster hair. And will come also in um, a box with six vials of three milliliter each, and is to accelerate the hair growth to nourish the scalp, to prevent the hair loss and the grain. The indications, they're going to be all the types of non-secretricial alopecia, like androgenic alopecia or alopecia areata, damaged uh, hair shaft, premature grain, but also we have very nice results with seborrhea. The active ingredients we are going to have, of course, hyaluronic acid, like in all the formulations, vitamins, niacin, vitamin B5, B6, B7, B12, and rutin, a blend of amino acids and two specific components that's going to be copper and zinc. The zinc and the biotin regulate the activity of the sebaceous glands. So they're going to slow the senescence of the hair follicles and they also prevention of the premature break. The zinc and the copper, they will be released consequently, uh, thanks to the check technology, so they will not compete for the same receptor. The niacin is effective antioxidant uh, and uh, to reduce the oxidative stress, also a great uh, involvement in the gray uh, prevention of the gray hair and the vitamin B B5. It's also responsible for proper hair growth. So we will have a thicker hair, a more, more pigmented, more healthy uh, hair. Zinc and copper, they are uh, competitors for the receptors. And zinc, we can see, is a, a very important cofactor. It's involved in more than 80 protein synthesis, has a seborrhea regulation action and is a mediated anti-androgenic effect. So it's an indirect inhibitor of the 5-alpha reductase. So you, you know that the testosterone is um, a link to a specific receptor in the hair follicle that uh, will um, make uh, the hair follicle to go into the resting phase. So we're going to have less uh, hair visible. And at the end, we're going to have an atrophy of the hair follicle. So the zinc uh, in an indirect way is working on that. 
And then we have the copper with anti-inflammatory effect, antioxidant action is an essential trace mineral for the chromogenesis. So we also gonna have a better, a thick, pigmented, deep, large hair, and uh, with the hair follicle able to produce one, two, three uh, hairs and not only one wispy, uh, not pigmented, uh, tiny hair. So we, we're gonna have a healthier, stronger, and uh, more dense um, um, scalp. The amino acids blend will reinforce uh, the hair fiber and the hyaluronic acid will hydrate and nurture uh, all the skin. So we're gonna have a happy uh, hair follicle because it's gonna be in a very good amb ambience in a better, more friendly cellular um, um, position, so we is going to grow um, much better as well. What is important when we are doing uh, the injections uh, of the hair is to select the areas that, that they still have hairs, because the areas without hair, they don't have hair follicles anymore, so we cannot stimulate them. This will be completely different in the alopecia areata because all the hair follicles they are on resting phase. We don't see hair, hair on this specific area, but when we inject, the hair follicle will grow, but will not be able to pigment the hair. So generally, uh, the hair will grow white. Seborrheic dermatitis is also an inflammation by malassezia furfur. And we can see that the zinc that is inside uh, of the formulation can improve uh, this condition. And also you can see very wispy and um, white hair that became uh, better and uh, better pigmented um, after uh, the complete protocol whistle booster. Another uh, nice result from Dr. Inigo de Felipe from Spain. And in that case, remember that with the hair, we need to do uh, six sessions. The indications again, non-secretricial alopecia, like can be androgenic alopecia or alopecia areata or after chemotherapy after pregnancy, mm, uh, premature graying and seborrhea. The treatment areas, they're gonna be the epidermis and the dermis of the skull, but we can also treat the alopecia areata barbae or the alopecia of the eyebrow with an intensive course of six treatments with two, three weeks interval. And then we are gonna do maintenance once a month. Let's gonna talk now a little bit about combination treatments. That was one of the things, because I think if we understood uh, good um, the indications that we have uh, with these products, we can see that we can easily combine them in one session. So for example, if we have a patient with periocular hyperpigmentation, we could treat the lower eyelid with cell booster glow, if he has edema or she has edema, we can also treat the malar fat pad with cell booster shape. We can treat this area of the face with cell booster lift, and we can treat the double chin with cell booster shape again. We can combine them in different uh, areas of the face. This will enhance the result, and we can combine them effectively with other treatments. For example, on the decollete area, we can combine a cell booster glow to um, contrarrest the effects of the sun damage with botulinum toxin uh, uh, me with mesobotox. We can do the combination. We can dissolve it, uh, these uh, 10 units of uh, botulinum toxin in the same vial, and we can apply with the papula technique. We can also uh, combine it uh, with PRP. We can mix it with PRP. And uh, we can combine uh, with uh, lasers or energy-based devices. Always first the energy-based device, then we need to wait for uh, around 20 minutes, and then we can apply uh, the cell booster uh, products. Don't do 
combinations of treatments in the same plane of injection. So for example, don't use a skin booster and a cell booster in the same area. For the rest, you can combine them freely if you are in different areas and you can combine in the same session. Why we do that? Because we are gonna enhance the result with our patients and we are gonna reduce the visits. Nowadays is a handicap to come four, five, six times to the doctor to complete a treatment series. So in that case, with three sessions, we have effective and uh, visible results. And we can uh, also mm, combine it with our treatments to have a better aesthetic uh, result. Mm. Then um, somebody is asking me if I can repeat about mesobotox. So normally for this area, I use around 10 units of botulinum toxin. So I mix it directly into the vial. The vial has enough space. Also, if you want to put uh, any kind of uh, chilocaine or lidocaine, for example, for the hair treatment, I normally put uh, 0.5 milliliters of uh, uh, lido, 20 milligrams uh, Per milliliter, and then I mix it so it can be more uh, comfortable for the patient to apply. Remember that all the treatments that we do intradermally is better to uh, do a topical anesthetic. If we are using another technique, so for example, with cell booster shape, we are injecting subcutaneously, it's not necessary to um, to anesthetize previously the area because subcutaneous injections, they are not painful. And if we are using the cannula, so generally it's also not necessary to anesthetize. You're gonna have these patients that they are very sensitive. So um, in that specific case, there is no contraindication to don't put a little bit of topical anesthetic. But besides the papula technique, or the um, Napache technique, all these techniques that they are intradermal. For the rest, um, I will not use any sort of anesthetic. Recommendations after the treatment is to avoid 24, 48 hours. Areas, uh, they are warm, sauna, hammam, uh, sunbathing, um, uh, swimming pool, um, jacuzzis, all these areas with humidity to avoid inflammation and to avoid uh, infections. In the specific treatment with cell booster shape that we are want to reduce localized fat on the body, we are going to do the injections every two weeks and we are going to ask our patient to continue training because the high concentration of the vitamin C and the L-carnitine on this specific fat deposit will accelerate uh, the reduction. Mm? And the patient generally with the first treatment is when they, they see the most result that will make a high compliance uh, and that will make our patients to, to continue with the sessions. Little side effects that you can have, a little bit of redness, a little bit of hematoma. Uh, after um, the procedure, we're going to do a lot of injections, but generally 24, 48 hours after um, all the populace, they are completely integrated. I would say at least um, maximum time because in, in uh, 20, 40 minutes has to be okay. We can apply a sterile makeup. We can apply breathable makeup, mm? but um, generally besides that, uh, it's not uh, more uh, complication. So let's go to open the, um, the time for questions. I finished, uh, we have 15 minutes for questions. We, you can follow uh, Swissell on Swissell Pro and you can uh, contact directly uh, Nathan De Vries from Spega. Here you have the telephone number and the email from Spega Medical. It's the official distributor uh, of Cell Booster in the Benelux. So they have all the products available. They are all C marked. They are all with the check technology and with a very simple and effective uh, protocol. So let's go to open time for questions. Please, some questions and answers. Feel free to make a few questions. 
I see, and I have very interesting questions. Say glows work effectively in the same way in lattice skin that it works on white skins in the treatment of melasma. Yes, will work in the same way, but of course the tone uh, of Latin skin generally is a little bit more darker. But remember that melasma, you need uh, to use some protection. Huh? So uh, it's a triad of uh, we can combine peelings, uh, cell booster glow and some protection to have it controlled and to, to maintain good results. We link or laser as well and to maintain uh, good results. Why it's working on, on the same, uh, in the same way? Because it's working on this specific inhibition of the tyrosinase. So we are gonna have reduction of the melanin production. What about mixing with PRP with hair? Yes, uh, there are a lot of uh, doctors that they are actually doing that already because we, besides the bioregenerative effect of the PRP, we have this specific amino acids, these specific minerals, these specific um, um, inhibitor, uh, indirect inhibitor of the 5-alpha reductase, like can be the zinc. So um, a lot of uh, doctors that they are doing hair transplant, they lack to mix it and they can also, PRP can be mixed uh, with lift, for example, and with glow also. There is no contraindication to combine uh, these two uh, therapies to achieve a better uh, result. Is glow beneficial for acne and PMS? I don't know what it means. Post. Uh, something like a scar has to be yeah it's beneficial for acne but when the acne is not active huh? so infection uh, the same i said that the lift was beneficial for rosacea is when we don't have the infective phase huh? so we can um, when uh, after the acne can benefit uh, cell um, premenstrual symptom so yeah yeah when you don't have infection you can uh, proceed with the treatment and will be beneficial. And we also see an improvement of uh, acne scars. Where Mustafa Elsa Lakani is asking me, what are competition advantages of cell boosts comparing to mesotherapy and skin booster? Well, comparing to skin booster, skin booster, generally they only have hyaluronic acid. Uh, so they don't have these other ingredients that we put a specific in every cocktail. Mm? So this is a completely different thing. And compared to mesotherapy, the mesotherapy will be degraded much faster. Mm? And um, because of that, you need to do much more um, uh, sessions and the results they are not going to be uh, that uh, good because uh, hyaluronic acid is degraded in, within a few days. And cell booster is stabilized. It's like every day you are going to uh, deliver hyaluronic acid, vitamins, amino acids, minerals every day in a progressive and sequential way to your skin. It's like every day you are training the skin. So the results are going to be enhanced, they're going to be faster, and they're going to be stronger and more effective. Mm -hmm. So don't, don't compare with mesotherapy because even though they are um, uh, overlapped, uh, you, we, you, if we inject a skin booster, we are going to improve the hydration. If we inject a cell booster, we are going to improve the hydration also because both they contain hyaluronic acid, but um, this specific technology, the check technology, it makes a unique uh, deliver uh, method of a specific active ingredients. Okay. So we are arriving uh, to the end of the webinar. And I see that uh, I already answered all the questions. So we are pretty on time. 
thank you very much for joining uh, um, in the night uh, and working day uh, this uh, webinar. I uh, tell you one time more uh, to contact Aspega Medical in the Benelux. And if you are watching from another country, contract directly your distributor because all these products, uh, they are already available and they are C marked and safe and effective. If you have any other further question, you can contact your distributor and we will answer uh, them as soon as possible. Follow the protocol, inject on the correct depth, always uh, aseptic uh, measures, clean the skin, anesthetize a little bit and uh, explain to the patient also that the results will be uh, progressive. So they're gonna have the result at the end of completing uh, the protocol. It was a pleasure for me. Hope to see you soon, maybe on a live session and otherwise we can continue. Uh, with webinars and uh, we can see in in a congress or somewhere else have a nice evening it was a pleasure for me see you next time thank you